Justification and Proof, Unit 2, Geometric Figures. In the Ready section, we're recalling features of rigid motion transformations. Remember that rigid motion transformations preserves the distance and angle measures within a shape. Figures that undergo a rigid motion transformation have a different position, but the same shape and size. The rigid motion transformations consist of translations, reflections, and rotations. Let's take a moment and recall the features of these rigid transformations. In a translation, all of the points are moving the same distance in the same direction. In this example, all of the points are moving three units down. In a rotation, each point is moving around one center of rotation the same number of degrees. In this example, Triangle EFG has rotated 270 degrees counterclockwise, or you can also say that it has rotated 90 degrees clockwise. When you connect the points from the image point to the center of rotation to the pre-image point, you find that you have two segments that are congruent, and the angle made with those segments is the angle of rotation. In a reflection, the line of the reflection is the perpendicular bisector of the segments that are created when you connect the image and pre-image points. Solving for missing angles. Justification and proof. Let's review some proved conjectures. Vertical angles are congruent. The measure of the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. Corresponding angles, formed by parallel lines, cut by a transversal, are congruent. In this example, we're going to solve for x. We have two vertical angles. One of them is 96 degrees, so that means the other one has to be 96 degrees because vertical angles are congruent. So we'll set up our equation, 2x plus 6 equals 96, and then we'll solve. To solve this equation, we start by subtracting 6 on both sides of the equation. That gives us 2x equals 90. Then when we divide by 2, we'll get x to equal 45. To check our answer, let's substitute 45 back into the original equation. And 2 times 45 is 90 plus 6 equals 96. In the go section, we have linear, exponential, or neither. Remember that a linear function has a pattern that shows repeated addition. The number that's being repeatedly added is called a common difference. With an exponential function, the pattern is repeated multiplication. The number that's being repeated is called a common ratio. So in this example, we're going to look at the sequence. And we'll determine if the sequence can be modeled best with a linear function, an exponential function, or neither. In this example, to get from one number to the next, we're multiplying by 5. Since this pattern shows repeated multiplication, this could be best modeled with an exponential function where the common ratio is 5.